Hello, it's Keith Peterson again of the Early T. Peterson Company in Westfield, New Jersey. We'd like to talk to you this afternoon about our most popular residential walk-behind lawnmower. This is a 21-inch self-propelled Honda, and this is the latest evolution in Honda's line of premium mowers. As with many manufacturers, Honda makes levels of machines. The premium level in the Honda line for residential use is the HRX series, and the most popular model that we have in that line is the HRX 21HYA. So this is a self-propelled, uh, versatile, mulching, bagging machine that is in its class in the industry today is almost state-of-the-art class in itself. One of the biggest differences with Honda products and average machines is the entire product is engineered and put together by Honda. So every component is a Honda component. Some manufacturers will buy Honda engines, their general purpose engine, but when you come to a pure Honda product, the entirety of the product is manufactured, engineered, and manufactured by Honda. So the cutting deck on this machine is unique in the industry. It's a polycarbonate resin. It's much like the type of material that would be used in a football helmet. It's extremely tough. It's lightweight. It will not rust, chip, dent, rot, peel, crack. Honda therefore gives a lifetime warranty on this cutting deck. This is a premium Honda engine. Honda, of course, is renowned throughout the industry for their engine quality. We sell a range of Honda products. We sell snowblowers, generators, tillers, water pumps, and the Honda lawnmower line. So the engine caliber of Honda is a result of a world-class automotive manufacturer making outdoor power equipment, in this case a lawnmower. One of the very nicest other immediate unique features of this machine is what Honda calls a clip deflector. And by means of this top mounted control, we can adjust and tune the cutting deck to particular types of cut quality. So for example, this machine can be used to mulch the grass. The bag can be removed. The control put from bag to mulch. The machine now will instantly, in whichever setting it's set, enable the mulching of the grass to the point that in normal routine cutting, the lawn is groomed and bagged looking, but the grass itself has disappeared. It's cut and recut and forced into the turf. This is a huge time saver. Ecologically, it's the best way to cut a lawn. The portion of the grass clipping being removed is roughly 85% water. The rest of the makeup of that clipping is nutrients. The lawn is being fed. There's kind of an old wives tale that if you return clippings to the turf, you'll create thatch. Has nothing to do with that at all. So this control offers a flexibility in cutting that is unique in this industry. And it can be positioned anywhere desired. So the machine could partially mulch, partially bag. In the full bagging mode, once it's put to that position, the bag on a Honda just lifts and dumps. It's the easiest bag system in the business. There's no latches, no zippers, no snaps, no ties. You just take the bag off, dump it, and drop it back into position. The, wall, the wheels are ball bearing. Nobody uses ball bearing wheels in residential machines. They simply take a nylon wheel hub, drill a hole through the middle, and put a bolt. And through time and use, the wheel hole enlarges. You're hitting uneven areas in the lawn hitting roots, perhaps sidewalk cracks. All this transfers force to the wheel, and the wheels start to loosen up. And we'll get machines in here for repair. The wheels are pretty near knock neat on the mower. With a Honda wheel, there's two ball bearings on each wheel. The stability of the wheel is extremely good. 
The wheels will last a long time, and of course a ball bearing wheel always rolls more smoothly. Honda uses motorcycle grade cables. They're multi-braided cables sheathed inside of um, uh, the nylon. At the top, they typically put rubber gaskets, keep moisture and grit out from the internals of the cable, and the cables can be adjusted. If they stretch and flex a bit over time, the cable can be adjusted to accommodate that. This is a blade brake clutch Honda, which simply means that when the machine is started, the engine recoil grip is pulled from here, a pull or two, and the machine is operating. The operator comes back up to the handle. There's a, an engagement bell that gets moved into the main handle of the machine. There are two blades on this machine. Those blades are now rotating. This is what we call a dead man control. The operator steps away from the machine. A brake slaps down. It stops the blades instantly within a second. The engine declutches and continues to run. This is what is called blade brake clutch. And Honda invented this design. This blade brake clutch design is something that Honda innovated when they first came into this industry. We took the Honda lawnmower line on 36 years ago. We were one of the first dealers in the state of New Jersey. Honda essentially revolutionized the lawnmower industry with their products. And at that time, this blade brake clutch design was absolutely unique in the industry. Nobody else had ever even considered having it. And the federal government stepped in and enacted legislation shortly thereafter because of the um, abilities, therefore, to render a lawnmower much safer. So when you leave this cutting deck and get to the deck itself, the blades are frozen. So it's almost impossible to cut fingers and toes off. The handle also puts the operator well back from the unit. Even if you have long legs, as you move forward, you can see my legs are reasonably long, it's an impossibility for me to actually stick my foot underneath the cutting deck. So Honda's very safety conscious, that applies to all their products, and the handle puts the operator well back from the machine. It also makes for a very nice point of balance. Very easy to rotate and maneuver this machine, to turn it around, and so on. So in the use of the machine, the first step then is to engage the blades. This control bell becomes part of the handle. And we can take and hold this left section here. This then enables us to engage the self-drive. And the drive goes in silky smooth. So at this point, we're driving up the terrain. You can release the drive, turn around, trim shrubs, get around things, reverse the machine, whatever we need to do. We can then immediately go back into drive. Honda is the only manufacturer in the industry that uses a hydrostatic or a fluid drive system. This lever here controls walking speed. It's not a gear-driven system. A hydrostatic system is the system of choice in this industry, whether it's commercial tractors, such as you see behind me over here on the right, or whether it's a large commercial walk-behind machine. A hydrostatic drive is a fluid drive system, and it enables the operator to select any particular walking speed. So the result is this machine can be adjusted infinitely from a walking speed that literally can be this slowly and then all the way up to full speed. So the operator can adjust the walking speed precisely to their comfort and the grass conditions, whether it's thicker, it's thinner, they want to go slower, they want to go longer, whatever they want to do. Again, it's a dead man control. It's released, the drive goes out, the other releases, and the um, blades immediately stop operation. On the later generation machines, the handle can immediately be adjusted up and down depending on the operator height. And of course, this handle will fold all the way forward for storage if that's necessary. All Honda products are easy to maintain. There's a large fuel mouth here. So when it's time to fill this, 
It's very easy. They build a little dam around the edge of the fuel mouth. If you spill the fuel, instead of running down into a hot engine, it's designed to sluice off the side of the cowling and go off onto the cutting deck. The oil fill is from here. You can see this is nice and prominent. There's a dipstick here, very easy to check oil. There's a drain plug underneath, but the easiest method for a homeowner to change oil on a Honda is simply to remove the drain plug, rotate the machine sideways, have a drain pan on the ground, everything goes into the drain pan. Wheel height adjustment is individual. There's a beefy wheel bracket mechanism and a spring laden, loaded I should say, uh, steel, spring steel height adjustment index, very hard to break. The muffler is in the front of the machine. The exhaust goes away from the operator. It's not a haphazard design where some engine is procured by a manufacturer in China and it's put any old position on the machine and the user is suffering from the exhaust. The exhaust is propelled exactly away from the operator and there's a shield around the muffler, the exhaust, because it's easy to go under a low shrub, hook a um, open muffler, pull back and have the branch start to pull the muffler off the machine. So everything is protected. On the side of the cutting deck, Honda builds out fender skirts on each side. So if the deck is constantly coming up against a stone curbing or um, something that would abrade the deck quickly, you've got an entire bumper assembly of an inch or two thick that has to be worn away before you finally get into the cutting deck and therefore into proximity with the blades. So in summation, this is our largest selling lawnmower. Smooth, quiet, powerful, very flexible, effortless to start with a premium Honda engine. Blade brake clutch, it only gets started once for the operation. The engine will run the whole time. The blades come in and out of operation. And the most desirable drive system in the business. So we'd encourage you, if you have further questions, to contact us. We're located at 224 Elmer Street in Westfield, New Jersey. Our phone is 908-232-5723. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.